Fafa Media. I was a minimum wage movie theater usher that made good and became a top earner in my network marketing company. Now, after 16 plus years in the profession, I'm finally teaching myself how to leverage the internet with online marketing and social media marketing to continue to grow and expand my business. My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path Path of the Network Marketer. Marketer. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today, Uh, I want to talk about why I am such a fan of content creation, (laughs) right? I know it's kind of been in my jam and very much because this is a this is a strategy that I'm comfortable in. I I did a live on Facebook the other day uh, about my content creation uh, career and it's not really been a quote unquote career. It's, It's not that, you know, it's it's something that has made me a ton of money, if any money at all. However, I've been creating content. Um, as far back as 2004, right? And so it's, 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 a, it's a habit, it's an activity that I'm very used to and I'm very comfortable with and I like a lot. Um, and for business, especially for network marketing, I really am a big fan of content creation in terms of, and, and publishing in terms of really building out your marketing. Right. Um, again, one of my key missions um, moving forward, and, and I didn't really know this at first when I started studying online marketing. Um, one of my key missions now is to teach network marketers marketing because we had there's there's no conversation about marketing. And so one of the best ways to break into marketing or at least to get your marketing off the ground is with content creation and publishing. Now, why do I love content creation and publishing? Here are the reasons. Uh, number one, it's free, <laughs> right? It's free. It's free. Um, in terms of uh, like financial costs, it's absolutely free. One of one of the biggest hurdles for I, I think that that we might think of marketing is that we need ad dollars, right? We need marketing budget, and yeah, I mean that's true to an extent. I think that's an eventuality. However. It's, it's not necessary at the forefront, right, at, at the onset. Because as network marketers, we get into this profession um, largely to make money. And, and most of us, well, I won't say most of us because I, would, I don't know what, what people's situations are. But for me, when I started in this profession, I had no extra budget whatsoever. In fact, I was underwater. Uh, you know, I was, I was not even living paycheck to paycheck because like, that's not even accurate. I was living less than paycheck to paycheck, right? Um, um, so I had I had nothing. I was busted broke. Uh, there was no way I was going to have any kind of extra cash to spend on um, on marketing, on you know taking out ads or anything like that. And that's you know that's typically what I think or what I thought marketing was. So content creation is a free way to get more eyes to your business. It's simple as that, right? It's simple as that. Um, um, now I've already talked about like the different types of content or and how you should present yourself online. So I'm not going to go into that today. However, uh, I like content creation as a st- marketing strategy because it's free financially. Of course, you're going to invest. Um, you're going to invest in time. Um, you're going to invest in effort. All right. Uh, so so uh, you know it's not a hundred percent free. Um, however, from a financial standpoint, it, it costs you nothing um, to create and publish a piece of content. Now, the investment in time and effort is actually a good investment because the next reason why I love content creation is that it pushes you to grow, right? You're not going to come out of the gate the next hot snot. (laughs) I was going to say something else um, and snot's what came out. Um, you know what I mean? You're not going to come out refined and, and you know, you're not going to come come out of the gate, you know, with, with your channel and your first piece of content is something as awesome as Mel Robbins or Brendan Bruchard or Tony Robbins or, you know, any of these gurus that, that have had, you know, decades uh, of experience under their belt, right? Even, even for myself, again, I've been creating content since 2004, so I've been doing this for a while. Did I start off as 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 polished? <laughs> I, I I hesitate to use that word because I'm definitely not polished. Anyways, that's kind of how I roll. Um, you won't, you won't, you won't come out of the gate polished. I didn't come out of the gate polished. It was rough. Um, it took a lot of time to craft a message, then to record and deliver that message. Um, you know, I can't tell you the hours it took to record one piece of video that was like four minutes long. Right, hours and hours and hours of time that it took to do that. Um, now I can just hop on and, and record, you know, 
four or five videos in, in an hour and, and get it done. So, so it takes time. And, and, you know, publishing regularly, creating content and publishing on the regular is a great um, way to just get better at something, right? It's, it's a great practice in growth because you're going to have to fill shoes, right? Um, you're going to have to eventually, um, uh, well, yeah, it's just, the, I, I talked about this before, I think, you know, um, the need to create, to create content creates a vacuum that you need to fill. And so in order to fill that vacuum, in order to fill those shoes, you got to step up um, uh, and, and fill those shoes, right? You got to expand yourself. You got to grow your capabilities. You got to really dive into a specific um, topic or a specific subject matter and get really good at it so that you have value to share, right? And, and you'll see that the influencers um, that, that uh, have the most stickability and longevity are the ones that have um, uh, that, that have really become experts at the thing that they're sharing, whether it's a, like art. You know, I saw, I saw this one, one guy today on social and he's got a massive following, but his channel is focused on upcycling clothes. Right. And, and so he takes old clothes of his or, you know, maybe that he found at, at uh, you know, at thrift stores and 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 he he retailers them into a whole new piece of clothes so that you upcycle clothes and clothes don't get um, don't get um, wasted. Right. And that's just that's his niche. He he worked on that thing and he got so good at it. He became an, ex an expert and, and it wasn't just a one off, you know, like he didn't just have a one off hit piece of content that that, you know, went viral. His his his. His uh, consistency um, and showing up every day with a, publishing a piece of content and diving into that particular niche and becoming an expert in that is what what it's the value that he brings to the table. And that's why, um, you know, his particular influence is successful. And that's the last piece. That's the last piece of why I love content creation, because you develop influence. Right. All right. That's the ultimate goal with content creation is is growing your influence. And 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 in in the future, well, in the current economy, this is an influencer economy. Right. Um, the the influence that you can grow, whether or not you have a business, I think it's really, really important to have a social media and online presence um, through the content that you create, because, again, whether you have anything to sell, whether you have a business or not, um, having influence is building an asset so that in 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 the off chance in the future that you do have a business and I, I know I'm speaking mostly to network marketers and, and entrepreneurs on this on this show um, you will have a massive massive asset um, that you can largely build for free that can pay massive massive dividends in the long run right so so following these three things these are the three things why I love content creation as a piece of marketing strategy, but just following these principles will actually allow you to build, um, build exactly the, the, the social um, and online presence that you need um, to have, to have this massive asset of influence, right? All right. So again, to, to sum up why, to, to re, to, well, yeah, to, to, to recap uh, the three things why I am so focused on content creation. Number one, it's free, largely free. Right. You can do it at no cost. Oh, the only cost is your your labor, your time um, and your efforts. And, and, you know, that pushes you to number two, which is the time and the effort that you spend pushes you to grow into being the person that you need to be to provide continue to provide value. Basically, it makes you into an expert and an expert ultimately is what um, uh, creates the viability of your channel and keeps people coming back so that you have um, that, that you uh, are, are able to kind of continue to provide value in the long term so that you grow your influence. And that's the third reason why I love content creation and publishing. Content creation and publishing, it's where it's at, y'all. It is where it's at. So if you're a network marketer, if you're a business owner, if you're a freelancer, if you're I mean, just anybody, if you're, if you're a stay-at-home mom, create and publish content guarantee you if you stay consistent with it every day um, it, it's it's going to do absolute wonders for you in the future and you'll have built um, an asset um, it's not necessarily a tangible asset but it's an asset that you can translate if, if you want to into something tangible in terms of profit so that's the message for today thanks for tuning in more from me tomorrow so until then be well be safe we'll see you in the next piece of content